Now for the last part, we've got to solve cosec 4x minus cot 4x equals 1 for x between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Now, obviously this has got to have something to do with what we did earlier. But I can't quite see what it is at the moment until we start looking closely at what cosec is and what cot is. Cosec, remember, is 1 over sine. Cot is cos over sine. So when we've got cosec 4x, we can think of this then as 1 over the sine of 4x. And for cot 4x, that's cos of 4x over the sine of 4x. And this, we're told, equals 1. Now, you can see it's got this kind of pattern structure. Only the 2 theta is the 4x. So, if I compare it to that, 2 theta being 4x, then theta must be 2x, half of it. So, knowing that this is the same as tan theta, I can write this as the tan of 2x. This angle here is always half of the angle that you see over here. So, therefore, I've got tan of 2x must equal the 1. And to do this, all I need to do is take the inverse tan to both sides. So, I get 2x equals the inverse tan of 1. And this is an easy one. It's one that we should recognize. If not, just get on your calculator. Make sure you're in degrees mode. But you end up with it being 45 degrees. I'd normally draw a quadrant diagram for something like this. Quadrant diagram where this is 0 degrees. This is 90, 180, 270, 360. And we want solutions from 0 to 360. So we need to be turning in this direction. And tan is positive, because it's positive 1 there. And we should know from the quadrant rule that tan is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. So I draw two lines equally inclined to this horizontal here. And the ones that we want, the answers that are going to be 2x, is going to be this one. This is a possible 2x. And the one round here is also another possible value of 2x. Don't make the common mistake of dividing this by 2, getting 22 and a half, and then drawing your quadrant diagram and basing your answers at that point. Always make sure you draw, draw, draw your quadrant diagram as soon as you take the inverse tan or inverse cos or inverse sine of anything. OK, so we've got 2x equals 45 degrees. That's that little blue angle in here, 45 degrees which means that this angle in here is obviously 45 degrees. So it means that this red 2x is 45. But we've got other answers. We've got the green one round here, which is going to be 180 degrees plus 45 degrees. And that comes to 225 degrees. Now don't also make the mistake of just stopping here because we've got to go over to 360. Remember we're dealing with 2x, so we've got to double this range. Still going to be naught, 2x, but up to 720 degrees. So what we can do is add 360 degrees to 45. That's as if we're turning to here and turning round again, a complete turn. And that's going to be 405 degrees. And finally, we've got the 225 degrees. This one round to here. We can go round again, add another 360 degrees. And if you do that, you're going to get 585 degrees. So there are solutions between 0 and 720 degrees. But because we're dividing each of them now by 2, it's going to pull it back within this range here. So half of 45 degrees is 22.5 degrees. Half of 225 is 112.5 degrees. Half of 405 is 202 0.5 degrees and finally half of 585 degrees is going to be 292.5 degrees. Okay, so I hope you got that one and that brings us now to the end of this question.